Hi, let's start regular language. So, if a language accepted by FA, expressed by regular expression and generated by regular grammar is called regular language. Representation of regular language, regular language can be represented in three ways. One is finite automata, second is regular expression, third is regular grammar. So I will discuss all these three. Finite automata is again of two types. One is accepto or without output, another is transducer IO device or with output. So without output is again three type. One is DFA, NFA and epsilon NFA. Then with output is of two type. One is more machine and another is milli machine. So from exam point of view, these two are not important and from this DFA is most important. FA, the mathematical representation of regular language is called finite automata. FA can be represented by a five tuple, so that is Q, Sigma, Delta, Q0, F. Q is finite set of state. Sigma is finite set of symbol called as alphabet. We already discussed what is alphabet, just go through the previous lecture. Then delta, it is the transition function where del of q and uh, sigma equal to q. q with input symbol, it will go to another state. q0 is the initial state from where any input is processed and q0 that belongs to q. Next f, f is the set of final state or states. So f can be any one state or it can be more than one state and f is subset of Q. Q0 and starting state and final states that are part of the Q. In DFA for each input symbol one can determine the state to which the machine will move. Means in DFA you can determine what will be the next state for which for this particular input symbol to which state you will go that you can determine. So hence it is called as deterministic automation because you can determine what will be the next move. Let alphabet be A, B and uh, language be accept all string ending with B. All string ending with B means it will accept single B, then A, B, 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 any string end with B. It will be in two state, one st this is the starting state, starting state always with the arrow mark and final state that will be a double circle. Here I took state as A, B, you can take any name. Then from A by input B, by input B it will go to state B because it will accept minimum one B. Then a, B, 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 any string ending with B. From state A with transition A, it will go to A itself. Because initially there can be any number of A ending with B. Then from B, by B, it will go to B itself. And by A, it will go to state A. Here what language it will accept? It will accept single B. Like from this, by B, it will go to final state. So by which string you are reaching to final state, that will accept. Then A, B, so A, B, then B, B, B b then a a b so here first a second a then b then b a b suppose b a b like this it will accept any string ending with b here what is q q is state a and state b then uh, alphabet is small a small b q0 is a so what is the starting state starting state is a and f is b so that is final state. So final state all will be marked in double circle and starting state with an arrow mark. So from that you can identify. Next we will do the del function or transaction function. So del of state A with symbol A. So from state A with symbol A we are going to state A. So here it will be A. Then del of state A with input B. So from A with input B we are going to state B. So here it is B. Then del of state B with input A. From state B with input A, we are going to state A. So here it is A. Then del of B, B. So it will be B. By default, FA is DFA. So DFA respond both valid as well as invalid string. So these are the valid string. Suppose any in invalid string like suppose A. A means it will go to this state only. So it is invalid, it will not accept. If it is not reaching to final step, then it is invalid string. Or suppose A, B, A. So A, B, A. So this is invalid. DFA is complete if a transition function is defined for each and every input symbol at each and every state. So it is a complete um, because from every state, there is a transition for every input symbol. Like from state A for A, B. From state B for A, B there are transition. So like here from A there are two transition state. From B there are two transition state. Because number of input symbol is 2. 
So number of transition at a state equal to number of input symbol. So at state A, two transition, at state B, two transition. Every string has only one transition path. It is a string can be processed in only one way. Take an example like BAB. BAB, so from state A, to it will go state B. Then from state B, it will go to state A. Then from state A, it will go to state B. So there is just one way that the string can process. The sequence of transition is called as transition path in which sequence you cover B, A, B. From A to B, then A, then B. So A, B, A, B, that is called as transition path. So next is instantaneous description or ID. So ID describes the moment of FA. Transition function Q, then sigma equal to Q. So Q is current state, then current input symbol, then it will go to some new state. So that is called as instantaneous description or ID. So the, you can say these are the ID. FA can be represented in two way. First is transition diagram and another is transition table. So this is a transition diagram. Now let's do a transition table for this. So this is a transition table. So here this is state A, state B, here input symbol A, input symbol B. Then from state A by input symbol A where it is going. From state A by input symbol A it is going to state A. Then from state A by input symbol B, it is going to state B. Then from B, state B by input symbol A, it is going to state A. So here it is A. Then from state B by input symbol B, it is going to state B. So here it is B. So this is a transition table. Thank you.